I knew that we would find things in that office that were not only immoral, but probably illegal. What we thought of at the time as the war machine, we wanted to do as much damage to it as we could before we got caught. We knew that if we got caught, we were going to probably face very serious prison time. It was very empowering to know that ordinary people could actually take action. Philadelphia was full of young families just like ourselves who were very active politically. I was ready to make a transition from nonviolent protest to nonviolent disruption. They feared there were FBI informers in their midst. We heard someone trying to break into one of the apartments in the building. Somebody yelled back, FBI. Everywhere you went, there was somebody taking your picture. Even the presidents of the United States were afraid of the FBI. If the FBI was suppressing dissent, it was as important to expose that as it was to end the war. So many things were so wrong, there was no decision to be made. You have to do something. Break into an FBI office, remove files, and mail them to newspapers. More than a 1,000 documents were stolen from the FBI office in Media, Pennsylvania. They called themselves the Citizens Commission to investigate the FBI. These documents reveal illegal activity by the FBI. Surveillance of people engaged in protected First Amendment activity. The fortress was under siege. 150 agents were looking for us. My worry was that what would happen to those three kids? This was quite a substantial risk they took. What happened there is a bunch of ordinary people got together, did an extraordinary thing. They risked everything. They saw injustice and decided that they were going to act on it.